Your thought on this news coming down just a couple of moments ago. It's unsurprising news, Gary. We, we figured this was coming. It's also a decision that could very, very easily come back to haunt the Mets. Uh, some of these decisions are, are no-brainers. Uh, Mickey Calloway had to go, for example. That was a totally different scenario. But when you have a developing manager like Luis Rojas, who, yes, we could all quibble with some in-game stuff, uh, but he represented the organization with dignity through some trying times, been with the organization in a lot of different capacities over many years, showed a willingness to collaborate with a new school front office. As Ron Darling so eloquently said, during the final Mets game of the year yesterday, uh, you could be letting a future Terry Francona go. So the Mets realized uh, that they decided that they needed to change. Again, this is something that could easily come back to bite them as the years go by. And Luis Rojas goes on to I, I very easily be a successful manager somewhere. You know, having said that, I understand exactly what you're saying, Andy, for sure. But I think there's also a couple of factors here, right? So I think you have to look at this in its entirety. Uh, level of success this year, we know, it was not what you wanted. They uh, certainly, uh, you know, while they were in first place for a while, did not finish very well, uh, as we talked about uh, a lot over the last few weeks. 21 and 37, their last 58 games, uh, below 500 on the season. So there's a lot of underperformance there. So there's a level of accountability that comes with being the manager of any major club including the the Mets I also think too it's kind of setting up the the plate for a new baseball operations uh, head right so the president of baseball operations coming in new generally if they come in and there's already a manager in existence he's not going to make that change he'll wait a full year for an evaluation some would say that would be the fair thing but I do think it clears the slate for a person to come in and pick the person that he wants right out of the gate even Luis Rojas wasn't Sandy Alderson's pick even though Sandy knew him he was already in place there when Sandy came on last year. So I think there's a lot of factors there. Uh, yes, do I think Luis Rojas would be a, will be a good manager down the road? Absolutely. Uh, but at time, the way things are shaping up here in the front office and moving forward, uh, I'm not surprised by it, and I do think it's the right move. Yeah, Steve, I, have, uh, conflict, I have conflicting thoughts on this, and, and I guess the best way to, to say this is that I agree with both Andy and Jim. I think, first of all, just you know, on a personal level, you are not going to find a better human being in any walk of life than Luis Rojas. I mean, he is truly uh, one of the, the great men that I've ever met and somebody who has the respect across the board of both his players and, and the people that he answers to, his superiors. Um, so, and I do think that he is somebody that down the road will be a very successful Major League Baseball manager. I really do. He's always had that respect and, and that, you know, thought, not just in the organization, but outside the organization. People really like what he brings to the table and and feel like he has a bright future ahead of him. You know, he probably, you said he, he wasn't Sandy Alderson's choice. He wasn't Brody Van Wagenen's choice for the job last year either and, and probably could have used a few extra years of seasoning but was thrust into the role and did the best job that he could. Uh, and, I, and I do think that he will be a very successful manager one day. That being said, I also agree with Jim that you know, the fact of the matter is the the team underachieved the last two seasons, whether that was on the manager or not. You know, it doesn't really matter. That's professional sports, and that is tends to be something that that happens. That you know, usually it's it's the coach, it's the manager that that takes the brunt of the blame in a situation like this. But beyond that, really good organizations tend to move in one direction and have one person at the top that, that makes all the decisions. You don't kind of have this half measure type deal where you bring in a new president of baseball operations and, and he's forced, he or she is forced to have people from the previous regime holding over in, in these important positions. And so I think the Mets realized after this season, they need a clean slate, a new start across the board. I think this is gonna be the first domino that falls. But the new president of baseball operations will come in and have his opportunity or her opportunity to put their stamp on the organization. And I think that this is just, you know, all part of that.